President Trump's former national security adviser, Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, fired after just 24 days on the job. Tonight, we've learned Flynn has offered to answer questions from the congressional intelligence committees in exchange for immunity. So far tonight, no takers. Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. Former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn says he has a story to tell, but tonight, neither the Senate nor the House are ready to give him immunity to tell it. Before the cameras today, President Trump refused to talk about it. Any comment on Michael Flynn, Mr. President? But hours earlier, on Twitter, the president left no doubt about his view. Flynn should ask for immunity and that this is a witch hunt. In a letter to the House and Senate Intelligence Committees, Flynn's lawyer made it clear he is ready to testify. But there's a caveat. No reasonable person who has the benefit of advice from counsel would submit to questioning in such a highly politicized witch hunt environment without assurances against unfair prosecution. The top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee called Flynn's request a grave and momentous step. <laughs> Flynn talked a lot about prosecution during the campaign. Lock her up. That's right. Get that's right. Lock her up. When a low level Clinton staffer got immunity to testify about her email system, Flynn took it as an admission of guilt. When you are given immunity, that means that you've probably committed a crime. And the president made it clear time after time that he saw things the same way. And if you're not guilty of a crime, what do you need immunity for, right? So does the president think that Mike Flynn is guilty of a crime? I think Mike, he believes that, that Mike Flynn should go testify. He thinks that he should go up there uh, and do what he has to do to get the story out. With or without immunity? Well, I mean, that's up to him and his lawyer to decide. I'm not going to give Mike... Uh, Mike Flynn or anyone else legal advice from the podium, but I will tell you that the president's view is he should go up there, he should testify. But the president gave legal advice from his Twitter account. He said Mike I, I know, Flynn but the should interesting ask for immunity. Right, and I, and I, I and understand. He has said in the past that the only reason you ask for immunity is if you commit Right, but I think that the underlying point that you're missing, Jonathan, respectfully, is that what he's asking is go testify. Go get it out there. Flynn may be a key witness in the investigation. First, he has ties to Russia, sitting next to Vladimir Putin at a dinner in Moscow in 2015. Here they are shaking hands. After just 24 days as national security advisor, President Trump fired Flynn for lying to the vice president about conversations he had with the Russian ambassador about sanctions. Asked directly today if the White House is concerned about what Flynn might tell Congress, Press Secretary Sean Spicer had a simple one-word response. Nope. John Carl with us live from the White House tonight. John, you also have news on another front tonight because we've been reporting here on the head of the House Committee, Republican Devin Nunes, investigating Russian meddling and any possible Russian collusion and his mystery meeting at the White House. Tonight you have news on the ranking member, the Democratic leader on that committee, going to the White House. That's Adam Schiff, the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee. We knew he was coming here to the White House to the old executive office building to review some intelligence. He did that, but after that, he had a 10-minute meeting in the Oval Office with the President of the United States. Adam Schiff, the top Democrat, big Trump critic, meeting with President Trump in the uh, Oval Office. I was told by a senior official just a few minutes ago that it was a very cordial and polite conversation and that the president offered any assistance he could give uh, to the investigation. All right, John Carl at the White House. John, thanks as always.